I need you to guide it in. We are working on porches, finally. So um, it's mid morning right now. As you can see, I got the laser level out um, and I got my two posts out. So our plans don't call for um, timber frame or post and beam, whatever you want to call it, style porches. They, the plans show something else. So uh, we're changing that. We went and got all of our materials that we need for the fronts and the backs. Um, and we're having to figure it out. So this morning I took some time to figure out how we're going to lay it out, uh, how we're going to, what heights we need and all that stuff because we can't follow the plan. So uh, my hope is that by the end of this video we have a framed out porch. Um, this is probably going to be like a multi-part, this front porch is going to be a multi-part uh, video. But my hope is that this video we can get the uprights, we can get the a frame in the middle and we can get it all attached to the house so um, we had to mark the brackets with the laser level to see what the um, height is so the brackets for the porch are actually taller than our lowest bracket for the house I work on getting those cut down now we can stand them up and then we can secure them to the house and then what we'll do is we'll measure for our top beam and then hopefully Tina can come out and we can lift that in place because it's a 10 foot six by six. And I can pick those up, but I don't know if I can pick it up almost 11 foot in the air. So, or actually it's probably over 11 foot in the air. So we'll get these things cut down um, and we'll get going. trying to stand these up. I'll have to get some bracing and go back to the house. Um, but I'll get those materials and I'll show you guys what I was working on yesterday in the back of the house for the back porch. 
can see there the new gravel. Uh, I was in a hurry when we were doing these forms in the concrete and I didn't backfill them properly, so they sunk. So when we had the forklift out here doing the trusses, I picked these up. But this one here that I'm digging out and that one that I dug out yesterday are off the string line too far. So when we float our post, it won't match up. So I'm having to dig those out so I can move that. That one had to come almost an inch. This one's only got to come three quarters of an inch. Uh, but if I can get it half inch, we're good. So that is taking some time, but we'll go back. Uh, we started to make sure that the rest of them are uh, square and plumb and all that. So I'll have to finish up that last one. Okay, so these brackets <clears throat> are designed for a six by six. And the six by six actually is kind of loose inside the brackets, unlike the house um, where the posts, the laminated posts were a little tight, just a little loose. So I got a clamp here. What I'm gonna do is lift it up and then clamp it in place and then I can get it level. It's not gonna be super tight, but it'll kind of hold it for me uh, while I set this up. In fact, never mind. Look who's showing up for work today. You've earned it. I knew it! <laughs> Maybe next time you'll get a hammer. Does this have other things? No. Oh, it's like an exacto knife. Yeah. I need that. So do I. That's why I bought for you. I need to trim the windows. It just look like you. There you go. We're matching. Kind of. <laughs> Alright, what's the plan? Okay, so I'm gonna sand it up and you can check it, make sure it's level, and then drive the two screws in. Okay. One. You can put them both on the top, that's fine. Okay. Like one on this side? Yeah, one, one on the other side. Okay. You're gonna get the level or? I'm ready. Is that heavier or? The post is heavier. It's heavy, yeah. But the brackets fit better. I thought, you, I thought you said it had to be even on this side. Could be. Good. Tap it out a little bit. Which way? The bottom out. Okay. okay. One in. Nine to go. That was the easy part. We got temporary bracing on our two outside posts. That's just holding them at our proper spacing, which is nine, like nine foot, 10 inches. Um, it was supposed to be nine, nine, but since we're framing it differently, uh, we took the extra inch on the porch um, and it'll be, it'll be perfect. So we got our board cut. We're eight foot from the outside of this post to the outside of the house post. Uh, so we cut our board at, what did we cut this one at? Eight and a half feet. Cause it's gonna overhang both posts and the LVL. So now we're gonna attempt to lift this up there somehow.
You have to pull the ladder. is up there. Woohoo! <laughs> See it? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> okay, so we got that uh, cross beam up as you saw. We put one of these uh, anchor bolts in it. So this is a 10 inch by 3 8 GRK structural screw. Say that three times fast. So we put one in on the post side and then I just have a temporary screwed in with a three inch deck screw on the house side um, because I need to cut out that sheathing before I can screw the that um, lag screw in so we're gonna work on this side it's gonna be the same thing we'll check and make sure it's square and then we can do our front cross piece so over here I don't know how well it shows so you can see that our beam from the house only goes halfway on our main post. So we'll run, we'll notch our front post or our front beam. And then from the front, it'll be a nice solid piece. You won't see that seam and you'll see the seam from the side if you look, but there's gonna be a soffit and an overhang. So you'll have to look pretty hard to be able to see that. Okay, so we left it yesterday like that. Uh, and I'm not happy with it. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like the way the front's gonna be after seeing it now, how I said it would look fine. I don't think it's going to. So now we get to tear down the two beams that we put across. And this morning I went and picked up that beam saw. Uh, so what we're gonna do is rip those down. I'm gonna miter the corners and then we can put the, the front piece up. So one step forward, one step back, but hopefully Today we can get it knocked out with this beam saw uh, and things will go a little bit quicker. So I'm going to work on ripping those two uh, beams down. The posts are fine. It's just a beam. So I'll take those two beams down. We'll get them mitered and then we'll get them back up there and then we can move forward. So they're both cut, uh, now time to get them back up there. And then we can move on.
like that, they're back up there and cut the way they should have been cut the first time. So we'll pull out the next, uh, oh, I think we need an eight footer. We'll pull that out so we can get the miters on and figure out how the heck we're gonna get it up there. Pushing the left. Do <laughs> you want me to put it up on the top of that? Yeah. Can you do that? Well, you have to pull it. Can you pull it your way or no? Yeah, well, as soon as you get it. I need you to guide it in. the first way we tried it versus just muscling it up so we got it up there we got to make some tweaks some adjustments uh, and then we'll get it we'll get it fastened in all right well it is the next day uh, it's it was a rough afternoon so uh, you can see here behind me we made our template for the arch um, and we cut our six by sixes and the joint was mediocre I was gonna have to um, fix it a little bit but then we got thinking that with the ridge line or the roof line um, we have to move that arch in so last night through a long time of calculations to figure this out we got it I think got a pretty nice joint uh, at the top at the peak uh, so now we get to attempt to put it up there it did rain last night we got three quarters of an inch, so uh, it's a little slick out front, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is put one side up, lay it flat, put the other side up, lay it flat, and then um, just try to screw one side in and then the other, and then kind of meet them up. So uh, it'll be a little bit of finagling, but hopefully that works out. So 
we'll get these things lifted and see what we can do. Well, we were about to measure um, and we I looked over at the greenhouse and saw that there's a bird in here, so gotta let him out. Okay, so we got our two uh, beams for the A-frame up here. So what I'm gonna do is stand it up. Tina's gonna put a couple screws in that side and then that'll hold it. Then we'll come over to this side, do the same thing. <clears throat> then it should meet in the middle. So here goes nothing. And hopefully our math is correct. You gotta come really after me. Okay. I can't see. More? Yeah. Give me a little bit more. Alright. One down. Nervous Nelly over here. <laughs> I gotta move this ladder by myself. I can move it for you, dude. We just risked this falling off. And cut. Why? Because I take a long time going down the ladder? You said it. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, well, that's where we last left off. Uh, we got it up there. We got the upright in. Um, but I've been struggling with it all day. I'm not happy with the way it looks. So what I've been doing is... All right, so what I've been doing is building a new one and I'm assembling the whole thing on the ground and I'll figure out how to get it up uh on the porch but here's what i got so far i just got one more cross support there and i have to fasten this one in the clamps just holding it but i want to put this side in first and then make sure it's all good but um i think i have a plan to get it up there but that's not going to be today and this video is dragged on long enough i think so i'll update this one uh what this looks like in the next um uh, in the next video but i think after we put this up, instead of working on purlins and stuff, she's hungry, it's dinner time. Uh, I think I'm gonna work on the back and put the posts up and the beams up for the back porch. Um, because this beam saw uh, that we have is a rental, so that way we can get it back, oh, within a week or so. Um, so we'll work on getting the uprights done and the A-frame done for the back. And then we can go back and do the purlins and all that jazz um, after. So probably next video will be the back porch. We'll get that all framed in because I do want to get this sheathing and stuff up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's where we'll leave this one. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you on the next video. All right, well, here's the finished product. I was gonna put it in the next video, but I got it done this morning and I can get this video edited in time, so. It's mounted on this two by six right now, which that will come off, but that's what it's gonna look like at the front. The one at the back uh, will look the same. Would it be slightly bigger?
taller. Uh, we tried some sketchy stuff to get it up there and I can't get it up there. So I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna get it up there. I may have to call in a favor from uh, somebody with a tractor maybe to see if we can't get it up there uh, with that. And then if that's the case, I can just build the one for the back too at the same time and it can lift both of them together. But um, <clears throat> as for that Makita, oh, we can't see him. There we go. As for that Makita um, beam saw, not a fan. Uh, if you've ever used one, let me know if you like that one or the skill saw has one too. But the ergonomics on it, that Makita are just not not good. And the, um, the base plate on it, it flexes a lot, so it kept getting out of square. So that was part of the issues with the first couple cuts. Um, so we wasted a board, but not a fan of the Makita one. So um, if you've ever used one or have one, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. But um, yeah, so we'll try to figure out how we can get this thing up with uh, maybe a tractor or something.